Good evening, and welcome to Monster Movie Night. I am Bobby Gamonster, internet horror host, and my pal Boris T. Buzzard. Also, tonight we have a special fiend of mine straight from the asylum and demented features, Danvers. Hi, everyone! So, Danvers, uh, wow, it's great to see you. know, I've been... Uh, aiming to uh, check in at your asylum. You know, I need a little, uh, well, a little work once in a while, too. <laughs> well, of course. You know, sometimes I like to just take a little vacation, and you know, I, I, I enjoy it here. I enjoyed all those months I was sleeping in your hers. Oh. So I'm always comfortable here. Well, I'm so glad, so glad. And, you know, it only took me a, a month to get the smell out afterwards. Oh. But it's no big deal. I, it was a lovely odor of the morte. The <laughs> but anyway, I have no idea what that is, but it sounded well. Well, I'll just have to try harder next time to keep it a little more permanent. Oh, well, that would be great. Anyway, oh, what have you been doing? Well, you know, everything is just all kind of craziness at the asylum. But I, um, you know, I uh, wander around the abandoned, creepy hallway and, uh, you know, peel off the lead paint. And, uh, you know, when I've had a, enough of that taste, I go into the, uh, the library and it's kind of moldy and there's not much left in there. But I did find this old book of witchcraft. Uh -huh. Yes. But uh, it's kind of one of those ones that's like witchcraft for dummies for like, you know, the, uh, the, the little uh, teeny boppers that uh, do we still use teeny boppers anyway oh. it's uh, those girls and boys and we call them fluff bunnies but we're not in, in their face anyway. indeed uh. well you know it's 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 kind of uh, those spells that uh, are for fun and they don't really work oh. and I want to learn some real magic and I thought you know Bobby could teach me. Well, I'm so glad that you came and, and thought so highly of me. After all, you know, I am a Eastern Europe's premier eminent mad scientist and magician. Didn't know that, did you? I did not! Well, yes, I studied at the Scholomance. In fact, there was only ten of us, and I think Penny Dreadful might have been one of the students. I, she was a, a, bit, a year or two ahead of me, mm -hmm. and so, well, you know, I was kind of afraid to talk to her that much. But anyway, I learned a lot of spells yes. and things. And in fact, there's one spell, it's, it's simple, it's, you know, as you say, even a dummy could do it. Yes. You know? <laughs> and, uh, what the nightmare? I thought I was Napoleon for about a year. Oh, really? But that's uh, well, neither was, here nor there. Really? Well, I was Josephine for about two. But no, 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 no. That was the meds screwing up. But any, anyway, um, the spell, that's right, the spell is for bringing fiends like us uh, together. Oh, okay. To, you know, be more bonded, as they say. Yes. Yes, yeah, so you'd like to learn that? Yes. All right, well, okay, what you need to do. Like glue, if yes. you will. And in fact, what we will do is call upon our my Uncle Lou from down below. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. yes. Anyway, he, uh, he likes these uh, dark, uh, interesting spells. Yes, so, yes. So, so he <laughs> might, you know, he may, you never can tell about what he might do. But but anyhow, the nice call. Yeah, it's hot. Don't touch that. Yes, it's hot. Don't touch that. Again, don't touch that. Do okay. not lick it. Do not lick it. Boris, Boris. Okay. Anyway, take the uh, mortar and pestle, please. Yeah, okay. Yes. 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 And uh, yes, I will do this here. That's with my magic uh, lighter wand. And I put this in my butt? No. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, no. That's not one of those. You're in the wrong place, huh? <laughs> oh, that's another that's, thing we do at the asylum, you know, if you're misbehaving. Yeah, no, or no, not. No. But anyway, no, I've never used that up anybody's bottom derriere, anyhow, or any other plate orifice. However, what you need to do is you, have, you take some of that stuff that's in the cauldron. Yes. Yes. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Is that right? How many? Whoa, whoa, don't eat it. No, no, no. What is it about you and eating things? Lead paint, and now it's this stuff that you got. No, it, mm. it does smell good. No, okay. no, it is not what you think. Okay. Anyway, clean show here. Anyhow. It doesn't, it's not Italian it, food? It, oh, well, then maybe it is what you think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe I'm the one who should be thinking. Uh, anyhow, grind that up really nice, okay. please. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, 
While you're grinding that up, I'm going to be using this candle flame over here to call energy. Wow, that is really hot. Okay. Anyway. It's yeah, fire. It's, it's fire. And fire ooh, gets hot. And, and we need the fire element from, you know, from yes. Uncle Lou down below. And so, yes, if, if you rub your hand right across, uh, yes, right, right across the flame, the flame. Oh, the okay. Flame, not yet. No. Yeah, the flame. <laughs> the flame. I'm just excited. I know. Isn't but that right? Yes. yes. But the flame. <laughs> All right, now you put your energy mm -hmm. over it and we'll, we'll call up from Uncle Lou from down below. Yes. And we'll get the flame. And I'm rubbing my hands over the flame to yes. get the energy so that we can, you know, put them, all the, the sources in there. And so, and when I tell you, only when I tell you, uh -huh. though, but not before. And what is What's that? What's that? What? Wow! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Dan Brother, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Uh, Danvers? Here I am, Bobby. <laughs> Boris? 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 <laughs> oh, dear. Don't you squawk at me. <laughs> Bobby, this is a real <laughs> problem. Well, anyway, yes, I know Danvers. I think, uh, yes, I, uh, so you're in his body, and... He's in your body. Is that? Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Don't worry, oh, Boris. Yes. We'll get it okay, figured yeah. out. And and so, oh dear. I think we goofed. I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Danvers. It's not your fault. I should have warned you and told you when to actually do it. You, it, it, it Boris, are you, you're beginning to look a little demented. What? Boris, Walker. come back. Come, Boris. Don't you don't you do it. <laughs> Boris, come back here. Come back here. Come. come. Oh dear. I oh, feel dear. like we need to go D get Danvers, him. Uh, Ooh, well, ah, uh -huh. you know, I, I think maybe that we should uh, watch the film that might help us out. It's about, well, it's about uh, some people with uh, Uncle Lou. It's, it's called The Asylum of Satan. <laughs> yeah, I think we had a little bit of asylum here, don't you, Bo uh, uh, not Bo I'm sorry, Danvers, right? Danvers, yeah, yes, Danvers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, uh, well, you, I tell you what, you guys out there... You watch the film. I'm going to go after Boris somehow and see if I can't catch up with him. And uh, anyway, I better, better blow that out, I guess. Anyway, yeah. And uh, well, anyway, you enjoy the film. The, uh, the Asylum of, uh, well, yes, I'll trip over all that stuff there. Anyway, uh, Danvers and I, yes, Danvers, is this Danvers, and, and Danvers, I will, will go right. out and hunt for Boris, because he seemed to have taken Danvers' demented traits now, and I can't do a thing with him. And you know, you know, Danvers, that sometimes when you do a spell wrong, certain spirits that's lingering around might just attach themselves to either you or Boris or even, I don't know, even here. So anyway, I do hope that um, that um, that doesn't happen. And so, yes, I'm, I'm coming for you, Boris. I'm coming. I'm coming. And oh my, that was a mouse. Yes, it was. It was a real mouse. And that's all right. That's, I'm going after Boris. Maybe we can take we can get him with that mouse. Oh yes, here I, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, no. Come back here, Boris. Come back here.
You are up. We were hoping you'd sleep a bit longer. Where am I? This is Pleasant Hill Hospital. You don't remember coming here last night? No. The last thing I remember was was falling asleep at General Hospital. Let's not worry about that, my dear. Dr. Spector will explain it all Dr. to you. Dr. Spector? You'll meet him later. But who's Dr. Spector? He's in charge of the hospital. He's your doctor. Dr. Nolan is my doctor. Did he bring me here last night? I don't have that information. Well, then, can you tell me who does? Because there's been some mistake. I have no idea what's happened. I'd like you to call Dr. Nolan for me. I can't understand how something like this could possibly happen. And I know Dr. Nolan wouldn't permit such a thing. I guess hospitals just aren't as organized as they're supposed to be. I'd like you to call Dr. Nolan for me so I could get this whole thing straightened Ms. out. Miss Martin, your doctor sent you to this hospital because he is confident that Dr. Spector can bring you back to health. What are you talking about? I don't know any Dr. Spector. I don't know him. I don't know you. And furthermore, you can't keep me here. You must speak only when asked to do so. Dr. Spector is a great man, but not a weak one. This hospital is under strict rules. Disobedience of those rules will be dealt with severely. 
I'm going to see Dr. Noah. I'm Noah. sorry to do this. Let's go. We must demand peace and quiet. Oh. We must think of the other patients. A few more hours, Stop rest, Miss Martin, and you'll Let be fine. Go of and me. then Dr. Spector will be able to see you. Let go. Of... No, no. 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 Don't do that. I want to see Dr. I want to see Dr.
You're new here, aren't you? Yes. Forgive, my friend. We don't often have new people eat with us. They always seem to sit at the other table. Do you know who those people are at the other table? I don't know. I've never been close enough to them to find out. Do you suppose it... I wish you could speak, to a devil. It must be frustrating. How long have you been here? I came here a few weeks ago. The other two were here before me. He's been here longer than any of us. Dr. Spector says that he'll be able to restore my sight very soon. Oh, Dr. Spector is really a very remarkable man. Why, he even promised me that I would walk out of here. And I've been confined to this chair for 20 years. I've seen every major specialist in the country. When I first heard of Dr. Spector, I'd given up. But he offered me such hope. Do you believe he can perform miracles? Call it what you want, but if there's a chance, we have to take it. What do you know about these people over there? Nothing. We don't ask. It's simpler that way. What is our Dr. Spector going to do for you? That's become the joke of the day because I don't even know Dr. Spector, and yet suddenly I'm told I'm his patient. It's very confusing because, well, the last thing I remember was falling asleep at General Hospital. The next thing I knew, I woke up in this place. Don't worry. Dr. Spector knows what's best for you. You just do as he says, and everything will be fine. Why are we scared to fool me when those people only given an aid? There's one thing you'll have to learn, and that is not to question anything that is done around here. You mind your business and they'll mind theirs. Believe me, it's the best way. I'm sorry, but I just can't accept things the way you do. I mean, I don't even know why I'm here, so I can hardly afford to mind my own business. Well, the food isn't that bad, is it? 
Now, unless you want a broom. We'll go back to the dining room. I heard voices in there. Come on. I got here as soon as I could. Have you been to see Lucinia today? Transfer? Where to? Why would Dr. Nolan transfer her to another hospital? What? Uh, well, you have any idea how to get there? Yes. Pleasure to meet you at last, Miss Martin. I've enjoyed your concert. Thank you. Welcome to Pleasant Hill. Are you comfortable? Well, Doctor, I've been trying to tell everyone in this place that there's been a very serious mistake. Now, for one thing, I don't understand There'll why... There'll be time I... for all your questions later. May I offer you some water? No, thank you. Dr. Nolan and I have discussed your case in great depth. Your breakdown was a minor breakdown? one, but... Breakdown? Dr. Nolan never mentioned anything to me about a breakdown. It gave me the impression that all I needed was a little rest. That's why I went to the hospital in the first place. I'm sorry, but I'm sure Dr. Nolan has never mentioned your name to me. Nolan didn't want to alarm you. He thought that I might uh, explain it then. <coughs> but there's nothing to explain. Look, Doctor, I was living a perfectly normal life, and then suddenly, for no reason that makes any sense to me, I find myself in this place. 
among strange people experiencing terrifying things. Nightmares. You have been shocked by a sudden change of environment. You'll overcome it, and in no time at all, you'll be back resuming your career. You know, Miss Martin, I'm a great admirer of yours. I've attended as many of your concerts as my time and work would allow. Doctor, if you don't mind, I didn't sleep very much last night, and I'm very tired. Now, the only thing I want to hear about or discuss is my immediate release. Sit down. Please. Forgive me. I'm tired. Work long past two. Eight hours. I would like to know what you intend to do about this, Doctor. I do have a right to know. Of course. But I have to examine you before discussing your condition. Examine me? Doctor, there's nothing wrong with me. I told you that before. I'm perfectly normal. Let me tell you something. If I could survive the last few hours and keep my sanity, I know nothing is wrong with me. Examination is purely routine, Miss Martin. But we can't help you without it. All right. Now, if you remove your clothing and wrap this sheet around you, I'll be back in a moment. No? That is ready, my dear. I don't like my bath that hot. Dr. Spector ordered a hot bath. I do think we should follow his instructions. How long do I have to stay in? Not long, just what is required. Oh, come on, you think that's hot enough? Wash your back for you. That's okay, I can do it. No, I'll help you. Ah, the skin is lovely, Miss Martin. So soft, so white. Almost as if it were unblemished by sin.
I was beginning to wonder if there was anyone here. May I help you, sir? Yes, it's uh, Sunday. You know, visiting hours. I'm here to see Lucinia Martin. Well, I'm afraid we don't have visiting hours at this hospital, not on Sundays or any other day, if you'd care to make an appointment. What are you talking about? There's nothing else. Hey, now, wait a minute, damn it. You're going to answer a few questions for me before you start slamming doors in my face. Now, is Lucinia here? I ask you a question. Perhaps I could help you, young man. Who are you? I'm Dr. Spector, director of the hospital. Maybe you can. Your friend here says that you don't have visiting hours. Well, now, what kind of a hospital is it that doesn't have visiting hours? Whom did you wish to see? My fiance, Lucinia Martin. I see Mr. Um... Uh, Duncan, Chris Duncan. Mr. Duncan, it's not that we don't have visiting hours here at Pleasant Hill. It's just that this is an asylum, and some of our patients are easily disturbed. I gave instructions that no one was allowed to see the senior at this time. And why not? Well, I thought it would be better for the senior if her treatment was not interrupted at this stage. You wouldn't want her to have a relapse, would you? A relapse? A relapse from what? There's nothing wrong with her. Don't you think that decision's best left to her doctor? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to my patient. Hey!
Dr. Nolan, and Mr. Chris Duncan is here to see you. Please sit down, Mr. Duncan. I'm sorry to ask to see you without an appointment, Doctor, but I feel this is an urgent matter. Urgent matter? I just found out that Lucine has been transferred to another hospital. Now, I had no idea she was that serious. And after my visit to that uh, asylum yesterday, well, I'm really very concerned. Asylum? There's nothing really wrong with Lucinia, except that she's overworked. I told her a year ago she should slow down, perhaps even take a short vacation. She seemed to think that was out of the question. But an asylum, surely you must be mistaken. I'm not mistaken, Doctor. She's in some place called uh, Pleasant Hill, and I don't know why. And she was perfectly healthy when we came back from the mountains last weekend. But now suddenly she's in this... Uh, a Pleasant Hill Asylum, or Sanitarium, or whatever the hell it is, and I don't understand it. Who's this Dr. Spector that you've called in on the case? That wasn't my decision, unfortunately. Actually, I've not met the man. The day after I brought Lucinia into the hospital, I got a telegram instructing us to transfer her to Pleasant Hill for special treatment. Who sent that telegram? Her father. We don't usually do things like this. But he called the following day, insisting that his instructions be followed to the letter. He was so insistent, I really had no choice. He said that all arrangements had been made, and she should be transferred right away. Are you sure it was her father? Yes. Why do you ask? Because, doctor, her father died when she was 12 years old. Are you sure her father's dead? She never told me. But then she's only been under my care a short while. I'm absolutely positive. Now, what do you know about Dr. Speck? Not much, I'm afraid. His name appeared a few times in the medical journal several years ago. If I'm not mistaken, he established an excellent reputation in the physiology of pain and pain reflexes, particularly in the biochemical reaction of pain in the central nervous system. He wrote several articles and impressed a great many doctors. Well, how long ago was this? Oh, about 10, 15 years ago at least. But I could find out. I know. No, that's not necessary. Have you heard anything about him or his work since then? Mm, no, I don't remember hearing anything lately. He seemed to have disappeared. I thought perhaps he had retired from the medical profession. To be perfectly frank, I was shocked myself when I saw his name on the telegram. He was in his 70s when those articles appeared. 70? That's impossible. No, I'm sure he was in his 70s when he was working on the pain experiment. Could there be two specters? Because the man I saw yesterday couldn't have been more than 45. Yet from what you say, he'd have to be at least 80 years old. All I know is what I've told you. That still leaves me with a lot of unanswered questions. And but thank you anyway. I wish I could have been more helpful to you. I, no, I understand. Please keep me informed. I'll do all that I can to help. Right. Dr. Spector said this would be my final treatment. I've waited so long for this day.
Sam. I know you've already told me that. Yes, yes. I'll do what I can. Yes, ma'am, I understand. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Are you all sure? Just as soon as I get a chance to come out. Yeah. Yeah. I told you I'd do what I can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. Fine. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for a Detective Walsh. I'm Walsh. I'm Chris Duncan. I think I'm here to report a kidnapping. All right, Mr. Duncan, who's been kidnapped? Well, I, I, I'm not certain she's been kidnapped. Wait, 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 wait. Who is she? Lucinia Martin. Spell Lucinia. L-U-C-I-N-A. Girlfriend? Uh, fiance. All right, you're not sure she's been kidnapped, but, but what? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. I, I don't really know where to start. Uh, how about the beginning, okay? All right. Have you ever heard of a place called the Pleasant Hill Hospital? Pleasant Hill? No. Well, the senior was admitted there a few days ago, but, but they don't allow anyone to see it. So what's so strange about that? Look, lots of times they won't let a patient have visitors. And you say she was admitted, so how do you get a kidnap charge out of that? Forget it, Mr. Duncan. Unless you have more facts than you've already given me, I don't have a reason to even begin an investigation. Yes. There are more facts. There's a hell of a lot more facts. There's something wrong with that whole damn place. You feel it. The minute you enter the gates, you feel it. Surely you don't expect us to go out here and raid a place simply because someone has a strange feeling about it. Come on, Mr. Duncan. We'd be raiding every church and funeral parlor in town if we used that philosophy. Look. All I'm asking you to do is to come out there with me and take a look for yourself. Somehow I just don't think your damn time's that valuable. Look, you don't come into my office telling me how to run. Eh? All right, I'll take you out to your pleasant hill. I want you to see just how ridiculous you really look. Well, you were here last. I was here yesterday, and this gate was open. Looks to me like it hasn't been open in 20 years. You know, Duncan, you said you had a strange feeling. Now I have one. I have a strange feeling. You want to play haunted house. Look, you're this far. You may as well walk to the top of the hill. This is the land of Oz, and you're the wizard. Man, what a day. First you, and now the spring. I suppose this place was all neat and trim yesterday. Oh, what do you think I do, Walsh? Just run from town to town lying to you cops? I was wondering about that. Yesterday, this place was alive with people, I swear it! You know, when I write my book, you're going to be chapter one. Come on, I've seen enough. I'm not going to. I see Dr. Spectre. You know, your trouble is that you've seen too many Spectres already. You want to see your phantom doctor, you walk back to town. Ain't nobody going to answer that door, young man. This place has been closed for years. Can we go now? No. No, this man is Dr. Spectre. Sure. Sure he is. Name is Balding. Been the caretaker here for years. Ain't no Dr. Spectre around here, though. You fellas better get. What are you talking about? Your name is Dr. Spectre. You run this hospital. Now, where's Lucinia? Now, uh, mister, you're wrong. This here ain't no hospital. Look, he claims his fiance was admitted to this hospital. House with a patient. Well, you can see, mister, ain't been nobody here for years. Boy, this is going to look great on my report. Visited a haunted house looking for a doctor named Spectre. Come on. Where's your senior? What have you done with her? Oh, you... Oh, 
want that man arrested. The sheriff's spot is probably. And he's trying to kill me. That's Dr. Spencer! You'll have to come downtown if you want to find a farmer. I will. Get him out of here. I'm going to take care of him myself.
Operator. Operator, hello? Operator? Oh, God, please answer. Didn't you sleep well? What the stairs? More patience? More room? You went up there last night. That's impossible, my dear. I checked on you several times. You were sleeping soundly. But I remember it so clearly. Dr. Spector, they were all there! You must have been dreaming. There's no dead body on the third floor. I promise. It was your imagination. <laughs> You've been very tense since you've arrived here. You know, Miss Martin, if you don't get some rest, Dr. Spector can't help you. Relax, my dear. You're working yourself up over nothing.
didn't come into fire plate, so there's no sense in me holding him any longer. It's awful damn nice of you. You don't believe me at all about that place, do you? Look, I know what I saw, and it's not what you said it was. Anyway, there's nothing I can do without some kind of evidence to back up your story. Look, I don't mind trying to help people out because it's my job. But taking everything into consideration, there's no way I can justify any action to myself or my boss. So unless you have something more positive... Oh, Walsh, you're the true public servant. You know, there are three elements about this case that confuse me. You come to me with a hospital I can't find, and a doctor that nobody knows, and a kidnapped girl who doesn't exist. Go get Aladdin's lamp and make your three wishes come true. Then we can talk. Until... Kid, I just let go of it. Yeah, Duncan, yeah. Yeah, sounds like you read my report. Look, I don't think there's anything to the story he gave me, right? No, well, I mean, it, it, it doesn't hold water. But the kid's so damn sincere, I want to find out something. You know, just my own curiosity. How about running a routine check for me, will you? Yeah, just find out. Just the particulars, right? You've got it in the... Re Pleasant Hill, yeah. No, it was completely deserted. Yeah, I know it. I know it. How was I to know before I got there? Yeah, and the doctor, yeah. But Jason Inspector, yeah. No, I never heard of him either, but... Look, don't spend any time on it. Just a routine check, will you? See what you come up with. Let me know, will you, Ed? Okay. Okay, bye. Thanks. Miss Martin, doctor. I understand you had a rather rough night last night. It's a nightmare, I guess. Nothing uncommon and nothing to worry about. 
Actually, I feel you've made remarkable progress. I'm confident that with a little self-discipline, you'll be just fine. So, I've decided that after this last treatment this evening, I'm going to turn you over to Dr. Nolan's care. Does that mean I can leave tomorrow morning? Well, if you respond to the treatment as well as I feel you will, I see no reason why you can't leave in the morning. What um, kind of treatment did you have in mind, Doctor? Nothing complicated. I've uh, called Mr. Duncan. He'll be here to reassure Dr. you. Chris? Yes, he called earlier today, and uh, I told him what time he'd come by and pick you up in the morning. <laughs> so you can look forward to resuming your musical career. You know, I'd much rather see you in front of an orchestra than in front of my desk. However, you must promise not to push yourself. I promise. Good. I'll see you tonight, then. You will. Is that enough proof? That's how is it. Where the hell did you At the hospital. Now, is that enough evidence? God, is that enough evidence? Not if your doctor died 20 years ago. Well, what do you mean? You've been doing some checking on your Dr. Spectre. He was picked up several times for devil worshipping. Couldn't prove anything on that, but he was suspected of murder. Oh, God! One of the victims found in the doctor's office. What happened to her? That's one of those unanswered questions. He was never brought to trial. He died before they caught him. Died? You don't suppose there could be any connection between the picture and, and that? I don't know. Oh, you mentioned devil worshiping. Yeah, but we can't go around arresting people for that nowadays. Back I'm not asking for an arrest. All 
I want you to do is search that place. All right, we'll have to wait till morning and get a search warrant. The hell we will. Listen to me. You wake up the judge. Or whoever it is in this town that makes out search warrants and you get it tonight. Specter, Spaulding, or whatever he calls himself could kill the senior before morning. about to meet again, Master. I have kept our pact these many years. The mute was burned. The blind girl was given to the reptile and beheaded. The cripple was fed to the insect. Now, Master, you will soon have your sacrifice.
master of the seven, whose name is and shall be death. Through the blazing angles of the shining trapezoid, for by the tenth key, thy doom hath been spoken. For we are alike, true worshippers of the highest and ineffable King of Hell. Thy rights have been spoken, met are thy terms by a Cridian, fire, serpent, dismemberment. Loose the hound from the barrier and come among us, for the bond of Satan hath been sealed. By Asmodeus, Belial, and Leviathan, arise, move, appear, leave thy burned and darkened castle beyond the stars, and behold the goat without horn, untouched, unblemished according to thy desire, and by thy covenant cleansed in the black fire. Show the mystery of thy creation! Ave Satanus, Rege Satanus, Hail Satan! My master pleased with his virgin sacrifice? <coughs> Take it in exchange for my continued eternal life.
shall we proceed? What is it? Please, Master.
that was exercise that, you know, I'm not in shape. And, <laughs> and oh, Boris is just, you simmer down, simmer down, or else or else there will be no leftover rotted no, meat. No, no. Behave, behave. Anyway, uh, Danvers. Here I am, Bobby. Tell you what, I'm going to reverse, I'm going to reverse this, and you're going to be in your body, your and... Uh, Boris is going to be back in his body. Boris, don't eat that. <laughs> anyway, you watch Boris. I mean, no, Danvers, watch Boris. Yes, hold on to him just so in case. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, beak him there. That's right, Danvers. Beak him good. Anyway, ah, let's see. We had some of this. And see, we need a little of this for the anti neutralization of it all. Uncle Lou, give me a little help here, okay? All right, all right, all right. Anyway, we're gonna get. Oh, well, no, 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 we need this. Okay. Boris! Boris, no, you, you, if you eat that with Danvers' body, it's no telling what's gonna happen. <laughs> anyway, get ready. Danvers, you ready? Boris, I don't, I'm not even gonna ask you. Oh, flame, come up, come up. Thank you very much. Okay, I need this. This special paper here from yes, this there we go. Anyway, bills of a bhasa gita humafa. Well, that was Danvers that was furry. Danvers, you're back. Bo I am. Boris, you're back. Are you okay? Are you ashamed of yourself? No? Okay, well, I, in, anyway. Oh, oh, Denver, you're it, still tied, aren't it's you? It's not Tuesday night. Why am I tied up? Well, you know, Boris got a little rowdy in your body, and I'm not sure what he, when we... Well, was, I was still there. I was watching the whole thing. I, Boris and I have a, an uncommon bond now, don't we, Boris? That's right. Yes, yes. Anyhow, uh, yeah. Okay, well, yes. Uh, you sure mm. you're feeling better? I feel better. I don't know if I'm ever going to get the taste of roadkill out of my mouth, though. But just fine. Uh, you yeah, know, it's pretty good. So, yeah. anyway, uh, you, you want me to untie or anything? Uh, or, or, are you, you, or you're still in there just. You know, oh, it's I, I think we're good. Uh, oh. Now, you were talking about that sort of. Uh, 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 a uh, spirit that could attach itself. Yes, uh, yes, so, yes. That's uh, right. I did tell you that when you. Was, I, yes. I have to tell you, there's been sort of this uh, feeling, this feeling I've sort of had. Really? And so. And you, uh, and, and you but, sure uh, you wasn't using this? Well. Oh, okay. Well, all right then. We will throw that away for a little. But anyway, I, yes, yes. No, no. I, I get off of that. Anyway, I do know what you're talking about. Cause, whew, yeah, I feel a little bit a nice tingly up and down, and it's not from nothing like that. But yes. anyway, uh, yes, yes. I know what you're saying. I'll tell you what. You give an inch, take a mile. Uh, but uh, yes. Uh, Thank you so much for uh, having me on the show again well, and, and teaching me a little magic. And hopefully, uh, you know, next time on the show, we can maybe do another lesson. Well, that would be great. And maybe it won't go quite... I tell you what, go awry some... Okay, I tell you, what, I got one more little lesson and to, to, to do. Okay. And, and it's just a simple little thing that... Um, well, you know, actually, we probably won't even need... Any, just a little of the oh well. Oh yes. This, oh oh good. The oregano. Yes. The oregano. Oh my, that's it, anyway. Anyway, it will get. Mm -hmm. it, it it will basically um, staunches maybe even uh, solidify mm -hmm. us. You know a little bit. Kind of and feeling a little. Wait a minute. It's <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, dear. I think I goofed. Anyway. I'm starting to feel a little bit um, uh, stout. Yes. And well, thank you all for being here. And uh, well, I, I'm not sure what's happening with this particular spell, but come back and join Danvers for Demented Features as well. Hmm. Hmm. Well. This is another fine mess Boris has got us into, but Ambers. Yes. I don't think the spell worked the way it should have. No. No, I'm feeling a little stiff. You look rather statuesque, though. <laughs>